and welcome back to another day of painting. So uh, today is hopefully gonna be my final day working on Mr. Sims right here. Uh, all of the major issues have already been addressed. Um, so today I am going to do a quick evaluation before I even get started. Uh, take a look at uh, each individual piece from different perspectives and figure out what it is that I need to change, if anything. But I'm gonna walk you through this evaluation kind of give you an idea about um, how to decide whether your painting is finished. Close up everything is looking pretty good. My values are looking good, his skin texture looks great, the background is properly blurred out. So I am liking this from close up. Middle distance, I'm starting to notice some problems, especially in his beard. His beard is looking very flat. And from across the room, it's actually looking pretty good. His beard is going to flatten out since you're so far away, but the overall composition looks great. That uh, spot of red right there in the middle with his tie looks fantastic, drawing you up to his eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and Kind of get his beard all lubricated with this liquid. And I did work on this yesterday, but because liquid dries so fast, it's all ready. Go ahead and dive right into that lightest mixture that I made. And I'm noticing it is a little too red. So I'm gonna put it, tone it down with some raw sienna. You can use, um, yellow ochre as well. So I'm just going to add some of this in here, create a little bit. There we go. Get that to lighten up quite a bit too. Just gonna dab in with more liquid and pick some of this up and move it. And create just a little bit more dimension in this beard where there wasn't before. I think I want to add a little bit more right over here. As men, we kind of want our beards to be all like thick and impenetrable but that's not what beards are. All right, I think that is doing a great job. I'm just using some really quick, uneven motions. I'm not trying to like paint out individual hairs or anything, but when you look at it, it's going to look like there's individual hairs because of this quick little motions I'm making. All right, so what that taught me, I have not gone far enough. I'm gonna add a little bit more white to that yellow ochre mixture. I'm actually gonna uh, put in a little bit more port sienna and a little bit more ochre. And then, to take my number eight flat and then use that and I'm just using the edge 
and kind of following where the hair would go. If you're losing some of your darks, that's okay. You can go back through and put them back in. Which is my plan. It's always a tug of war. You want to push where you want to push and then pull back and eventually you'll get to exactly where you want to be. This isn't a race. You're not seeing about how fast you can get to where you're going. You're seeing how beautifully you can be when you get there. <laughs> 